It's not real, but I enjoy doing it. The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is about Leonardo DiCaprio who plays Gatsby, and it pretty much revolves around you know how he is in his life, and that's pretty much it. I was really excited for this movie because. Um, the trailer showed that it was going to be set in the 1950s sort of era, and I like that era. I like it. It's one of my most favorite eras. So how was The Great Gatsby? Kind of disappointing. I mean, I don't hate the movie. It's not terrible or anything. This movie's gotten some heavy mixed reviews. And I was mixed about this movie too. Because in the first, like, 10 or 15 to 20 minutes, the movie's not really going anywhere. It's just, you know, just showing a bunch of this stuff, you know. And the movie's not about Leonardo DiCaprio, though it does become about him later on mostly it's about Tobey Maguire's character you know he's just you know he was a writer but he gave up on that because he felt that no one would be interested in his writing so that's why this is what this movie's about it's pretty much about him then there he starts hearing a bunch of people saying all these rumors about the Gatsby you know all this stuff and he's like Ooh, I wonder who he is that's how it is in this movie in the first 30 minutes of this movie you don't really see the Gatsby you know you just see um, you know, all this talks about him. You kind of see him, but he's not really introduced yet. Then when he finally introduces him, that's where the movie picks up. Because in the first, like, 30 minutes, this movie's not really going anywhere. And that's how I felt about the movie. Sometimes there was stuff that was in the movie that didn't really need to be in it and didn't really serve a purpose to the story. So how are the performances in this movie? Leonardo DiCaprio, I gotta say, he, he's good. And I gotta tell you this right now. when he, As soon as he comes onto the screen, that's where the movie takes off. You know, it starts, it stops being like, oh, come on, can we hurry up? And as soon as he comes out, you're like, oh, okay, I'm ready for this. And then Tobey Maguire, how was Tobey Maguire? Tobey Maguire, he's definitely a good performance, you know? Because I know how Tobey Maguire is. I'm not really a big fan of his acting skills because he's always just like, push me away, kiss me. That's how he is. He was really good in this movie. For the first time, I actually really, really enjoyed him in a role like this before. Then you got the guy from The Warrior, who, he was pretty good. He was pretty, he was a douchebag in this movie. He played a good douchebag. The characters that were in this movie that really didn't need to be in it because they didn't really serve a purpose. I mean, because this is all about Gatsby trying to chase this girl, but then, but then this is where the movie gets weird because there's some parts that you're like, oh, I really like this, it's really intriguing, but there's some parts like, I don't really like it, then you're like, oh, I really like this part, and then again, it's like, oh, I don't really like this part. This movie keeps bouncing back and forth, like, I like it, I don't like it, I like it, I don't like it. Well, I like the story of this movie. It's just that there was a lot of scenes that just kept dragging on. And this movie was very long. And there was a lot of scenes that should have been cut out. If this movie was like 20 to 30 minutes shorter, I would have liked it a bit more. But it's not terrible though. But what this movie was, I liked it. The story was pretty good. I like how it ended. This movie is kind of disappointing because I was expecting just a bit more. You know, I wanted to be more intrigued into the story, but I was not really. So that's my review on The Great Gatsby, guys. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, go right here to see more.